Today's question caught out almost nine in ten students. It's worth four marks, and you have to draw a tangent on a graph to be able to get all four marks. So let's have a look at the initial question. It says, describe the motion of this car during the first 30 seconds. We've got a distance time graph. Um, hopefully we can see that the gradient is increasing or the slope is increasing. Um, so that means the car is accelerating or getting faster. The next question says, determine the speed of the car 20 seconds after it started to move. So a lot of people in this question just looked at the time, looked at the distance, and did a quick kind of dividing um, answer uh, to work out the speed. However, while it would have got you one mark, uh, to get all four, we need to look a bit closer at what the curve is doing. Even though it seems like a straight line here, if you get a ruler up, um, the straight line only really starts getting straight after about 25 seconds. At 20 seconds, it is definitely still a curve. So we have to draw a tangent onto our line uh, to be able to find the rate of change of something um, or for a curved line. Okay, so first step, we're drawing a tangent then. Here's my top tip. Uh, draw a dot where you're supposed to dot draw it, uh, which is 20 seconds. Um, then get a ruler. Take your time. It's worth four marks, so it's worth taking your time with it. Use your pencil, obviously. Um, I'm not doing it here just because it doesn't show up that well. Um, and you will draw a tangent. You should try and look for each side of the point. It should be roughly even in terms of the amount of blank space you can see. Um, so here, for example, that would be too shallow because it's more blank space here and less here. That would be too steep. So you're looking at roughly something like this. So even on both sides, and then you draw your tangent through. Uh, you don't have to go uh, all the way to the end, uh, but go as far as the line because it makes your calculation easier later. So that's our tangent drawn. Next we're going to do is work out the gradient of this triangle here. Okay, so the gradient of the graph is what we're looking to actually calculate here. Um, so mine goes up from 0 to that's about 5.6, um, I'm going to say. So 5.6 is the distance it travels in that time. And the time taken, it goes from just above 10 to about 30. Um, so I'm going to say here mine's about sort of 19.5, I'm going to say, on the bottom here. So what we do, if we work out that sum then, that should give us the speed overall of the uh, car that we've got, which is around about 0 0.2. 8, 7, and a few numbers, so I'm going to round up to 0 0.29, which is within the range for this question um, and should be able to get us enough for four marks.